and happens to be free. There you go, that's it. Second side. See, I, I go mainly on the on the flattish side, I guess. Because I know that the second pass I'll be going uh, I'll be doing it on the uh, on the actual edge. Now I'm only worrying about the, the flat surface. So I took care the that the glossy surface is in the exterior. So when I glue it, I got the dull side inside. Push it a bit. Cut excess. I like to use the black blades. They're uh, the new blades. Uh, but strange. Ah! But strangely enough, they're the uh, old. Uh, they're just carbon steel. That's a drag. I ripped uh, a small piece off. But, no care. I'm going to put a bit of glue stick here. And I'm going to stick another piece. Should be okay. Okay, now I press it down everywhere around the perimeter. And I'm also giving it a just a slight tightness to it. On the other end, I'd rather have no potato chips and some wrinkles. But that's just me. There you go. Yeah, sometimes you need to clean your blade. It becomes uh, full of uh, glue schmuck. Cut this one with the scissors. My blade is actually getting dull, it's been used a lot already. But I strongly advise on the black blades. They cut like a. Whoa. Alpha. Alpha. Uh, the Alpha company sells those blades. Again, color is not much of a concern because I will be painting it uh, opaque. And my uh, captured Spitfire as uh, the underside is yellow. That's why uh, I use some leftover yellow. And the top side is a dark uh, brown and green. Damn so. gremlins.
I know I saw a video at some point by a, a master, I forget his name, and just seeing him do stuff all of a sudden made, made things so easy. And uh, I always try to, I always try to make things difficult. And I love it when somebody can prove me wrong and just make it easy. A bit of spit for smoothing it out. Make sure it doesn't get on the uh, on the flat on the flat surface, just on the edge. Or something else. Even if potato chips. Uh, after this, I'm just gonna dope it. That's it. But uh, if it gets uh, in potato chip mode, I do as the great Duco Guru says, which I think is brilliant and so. Which is just, uh, you spray a bit of alcohol on it, even if it's doped, as long as you use Japanese tissue and nitrate dope, put a bit of alcohol on it, twist it, eat it up with a, uh, an air dryer, and after a couple of times there's no other choice than come, than to come back to where you want it. Okay, now a bit of dope. I like to use foam, uh, actually those particular brand of foam is sucks, but just foam is great. Just use, find a foam that doesn't get uh, destroyed by uh, the acetone and MEK and the acid and the, uh, and the, do and the dope. And it's so much faster and cleaner than the... There you go, that's it. That will dry completely straight and easy, I think.